we ask which meridian goes to the, through the painful place. And we know that there are two stomach meridians and two kidney meridians. And if we say large intestine will balance both kidney branches, so just needling large intestine on either side, left or right, will balance two branches of kidney meridian. Isn't it beautiful? So any pain on the belly or in the chest, in the center, will be balanced by needling large intestine. Menstrual pain can be balanced by needling large intestine meridian. What is the best point on large intestine meridian for any gynecological disorder? Lingo. Lingo is situated into the very corner between metacarpals. Lingo or large intestine 4.5. So it's slightly lower. I would say 4.4 towards large intestine 5. When we need a lingo, we need a little towards the wrist. Quite deep. If the pain is deep, the needle must be needling must be deep. Let's carry on. Pericardio well will balance stomach meridian. And stomach meridian will balance pericardio. And if our pain occupies quite fast area, we can see that. Pericardium will balance both branches of stomach meridian. Isn't it beautiful? So needling large intestine and pericardium will take away any pain, any disorder between stomach left branch and stomach right branch channels. The only thing you need to do you change the points. So if the pain is somewhere in the chest, where you're going to needle? We're going to project the body into the arm and you needle, where is the chest? Somewhere around uh, large intestine 7. So you needle somewhere here. If the pain is towards the belly button, you needle slightly closer to the, uh, to the elbow. If the pain is in gynecological area, perhaps we'll use the direct projection and you will needle the points next to the wrist, close to the wrist. What is the best point for gynecological disorders? It can be pericardium or the best point, pericardium 7.2, which is located somewhere here on the wrist. If this is pericardium 7 and this is pericardium 8, so pericardium 7.2, will be slightly towards pericardium 8. It takes away all menstrual pains whatsoever. The best point. And if it's combined with lingo, but not for pregnant women. It's very powerful combination. Okay, let's carry on. Sinjal will balance spleen. And spleen will balance Sinjal meridian. We discussed things about Sinjao Meridian. Sinjao Meridian, or triple heater or triple warmer, what does it do in human body? It moves water. It's responsible for water metabolism. And spleen, what does spleen do in the, in the body? 
Abs absolutely. It digests, it's responsible for digestion. And uh, does spleen like dryness or dampness? What does spleen want? Balance. No. Stomach wants to be wet. But spleen wants to be dry. So, Sinja moves water off spleen. So, it treats spleen disorder nicely. Gallbladder will treat heart or any disorders on the heart meridian. And the heart will treat gallbladder. One of the best examples is, for example, temporal headache on gallbladder meridian. And even from TCM, we know that uh, Peter Dedman suggests and Machocha to treat uh, heart, which heart? Heart eight. One of the best points to treat temporal headache. But now knowing balance method, we know why. This is the head. And uh, heart eight is on the level of the temple. So heart eight will treat any headache on the gallbladder meridian. Either side, which is beautiful. Heart will treat gallbladder. Any tendon pain on gallbladder meridian is very nicely treated by needling heart meridian. Neck pain, for example, you may needle heart. And also it's a very nice structure because heart meridian goes through the tendons as well as the gallbladder meridian, which goes through the tendons, which is on the neck. So the Chinese clock is a very useful system either side let's remember how we choose the best side we palpate the ashy points not local ashy points we know that local ashy points do not exist in balance method but the points on the limbs so when we start the treatment and we for example have a patient with gallbladder headache we palpate heart eight on one limb and heart eight on another limb. And we ask which you feel the most, which, which point is more tender. If it is the right, uh, we will needle the right. And interesting enough, when we palpate and patient feel the pain and we needle this point, the needling of ashy point won't be painful. It looks like the body wants to needle this point. System four, Chinese clock. How to remember the meridian on the opposite side of Chinese clock easily? If you've forgotten, if you've forgotten that liver will treat small intestine according to system four, what you do? You start singing songs. Counting with your fingers. For example, you start with lung. Lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, pericot, triple heater, gallbladder, liver. Number six will be always the opposite side. Just count. You will never make mistake in Chinese clock. And now... We go to system five.